Hey everybody, I think we barely beat Zoom to the punch on getting our camera set up. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a mechanism. So we left off the other day looking ahead, and we did a reaction like this in which we reacted a halogen, in this case, iodonium bromide, so named because really its structure with the less electronegative iodine named first is because it's the atom that has the slightly positive charge. So the name indicates like uh, cation first, it's cation-ish, and the anion second. And bro means more electronegative, so the more electronegative element, which is bromine, ended up on the more substituted carbon. That's a good way to remember the regio selectivity when it's called Markovnikov. I know it's spelled Markovnikov, but it's Russian. And more substituted means. The bromine ended up on the tertiary carbon, which is a higher number than the iodine, which ended up on the secondary carbon. Tertiary is more substituted than secondary. Okay, and we had two new words. Uh, stereoselectivity means the two groups uh, that when they're anti, they're on opposite sides of the ring. And that happens when we get what's called in the mechanism, what's called a back side attack. Every time you do a back side attack, you will get an anti result in terms of up and down. Same story here. The only difference in when you add water is that the water reacts first with the halogen. It's not so much that the water is more reactive than the alkene. It's that the water is the solvent and it's everywhere. In fact, before the alkene is even added, there's a mixture of iodine and water sitting in my back room. Uh, not surprisingly, it's called iodine water and it's purplish. You might have seen solutions of ethanol with iodine dissolved in them. They're called tincture of iodine and it's purple. It's what the doctor puts on your, your hand before you do it does a cut a little surgery so what happens here is we're going to have the same mechanism except at the start water has already reacted so don't forget to do this step first water hits one of the iodines and it makes this where iodine is now attached to water. It still has two H's and has a plus. It's an oxonium. And the other species is iodide. And now, when we did this reaction upstairs, where you were not asked for the mechanism, but free of charge, here's the first step. Here's the first step, free of charge. And iodine, unlike hydrogen, has lone pairs. And that means it can come back and prevent a carbocation from ever seeing the light of day. You get full octet. Same story here, everybody. In fact, this is more reactive. This one below is more reactive than the one above because oxygen is even more electronegative than Br, right? So this one's going to happen lickety split. Lone pair and iodine, same story. Attack the iodine because it's less electronegative, same story. You're not going to make Br minus like above, you're going to make water. And the lone pair is going to come back to the more substituted carbon. Why? Because that spends more time with a positive charge. Watch our video from last last lecture. Yes, sir. So let's say it was a more electric instead of the iodine, we had a fluorine. Oh, new ball game. He asked if, if fluorine was taking the place of iodine. 
Because it's more electric. You're going to get a very different reaction and one we don't even cover in this course. That's how different it is. Yeah, so we're only going to stick with halogens less electronegative than O. It makes your life a little easier, right? And we're going to make a triangle. That's the big thing. Triangles all day today. Today's triangle day. Some of you have already seen some triangle day videos. I hope you didn't when you were studying for test one or two. Here's a triangle. Uh, iodine, if it came from behind the molecule, would be dash dash. If it came from in front, would be wedge wedge. And don't forget iodine with two bonds and two lone pairs, cation. It's called a cyclic iodonium intermediate. And it wants to pop open. It needs to pop open. It's got strain, angle strain, torsional strain. Not as bad as some triangles because iodine is so big. How are we going to get the OH on there? Break. How are we going to break it? Somebody said break it. I like our answer. Uh, what are you going to use to break it? Yes, she correctly stated water. Water, and once again, I keep reminding you, water is not only a reactant, but it's the solvent. So some of you want to react to iodide right now, because we did that before. When you're surrounded by water, like you've got a million water molecules around you and one little iodide, guess which one you're going to encounter first? Which one's going to collide? The water's going to collide with the triangle first. It does a backside attack. Backside attack creates a new oxonium. And let's see. We're going to get all those marks on our screen again. This bond, we never broke. It stays intact. The new bond to water. Water comes in 180 degrees away from this dash. What do you call a bond that's 180 degrees away from a dash? Here's the dash towards me. The wedge towards you is the new bond. So we're going to get a wedge with an oxonium on the end, which is the conjugate acid of the final product. And I said oxonium and I didn't write oxonium. I'm going to lose a half point on my own activity if I'm not careful. What did I forget to put down? The positive on the O. And here's the question of the day. What base would be the most appropriate base to use to remove that H? Your two choices are water or iodide. Iodide has a pKb of 19. I minus pKb is 14 minus negative 5. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Just did a total mind game on my Arabic students there. pKb, 14 minus negative 5, 19. H2O, what's the pKb? I will... Listen very carefully to your answer and then say if you did it the same way you did it in the previous example or you're just inventing stuff. She said 14 minus 16. I don't like her answer. When I did the PKB for iodide, I did 14 minus, this number has nothing to do with iodide. Where'd this number come from? Where'd the negative five come from? HI, the conjugate acids pKa. And then she went around and said, I'm going to use the pKa of water this time. I don't like when she does this. Yes, you need the conjugate acid of water called hydronium, and you need to know its pKa is negative three this time. 
Which one's a stronger base by a factor of 100? The lower a number, if it's got a P in front of it, the lower it is, the stronger it is. Whether it's PKB for bases, PKA for acids, lower number, stronger acid. PKEQ, lower number, goes more to the right. I guess that's your right that way, okay? Lower number means goes forward more, higher extent. So, which one's a stronger base? Water, by a factor of 100 because it's two units away on the, this scale. 10 to the two is 100. So iodine is your better choice of base for, and that's not even the major reason. The major reason has to do with something I mentioned earlier. Water is also the blank in this reaction. It's not just a reactant, it's the solvent. And that means there's a lot of it. So which molecule is this going to encounter much more frequently, water or iodide? Water's everywhere. Iodide's only every time you react this, you make an iodide, but water's everywhere from the beginning. So please use water. There's two reasons why it's the better base. PKB and concentration. It's everywhere. H2O. There we go. And we're almost there. We got to finish our blanks for Markovnikov and anti. The more electronegative element, it's O this time. Just remember, more electronegative element here, oxygen. Here, bromine. Okay. And ended up on the more substituted carbon. That's what Markovnikov is about more, more. Remember that. More what? More what? More electronegative on the more substituted. Anti just has to do with wedges and dashes, right? Backside attack, which happened right here. Backside attack always makes sure those bonds are opposite. Because you're breaking the dash, you can only break it by making a wedge, because that's the back side. Back right attack, back side attack. And I believe that's all I need to say about this one.